Canada is facing a critical housing shortage. The high demand is only growing, especially in Indigenous communities. Core housing need is 25% higher for Métis households compared to non-Aboriginal. According to a 2011 census, approximately 32,000 Métis families are in need of housing. Housing and infrastructure quality in northern communities is poor due to many factors, including mold and poor quality building materials that are typically inadequate for the northern climate. The employment rate for Aboriginal people is much lower than for the general population. Discrimination, geographical isolation, lack of transportation, poor health and education also represent barriers to employment. In the search to find a new way to provide better living conditions and employment for our communities, three leading companies combined together in a joint venture to create Indeco, an innovative green construction company. The venture is made up of the combination of Métis N4 construction from Manitoba, a leading Chinese housing developer, Beijing Yingdong Industrial Corporation Limited of China, as China is the largest modular housing supplier, and JNE Consulting from Hamilton, Ontario. JNE Consulting will ensure the new housing products are engineered to Canadian housing standards. INDECO will provide leading-edge green housing technologies that will be used to improve housing for the Indigenous peoples of Canada. The Canadian Minister of International Trade was also on hand to witness the signing ceremony. The Canadian government has taken steps to help reduce commercial and industrial waste in our country by supporting many green housing programs. The Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation promotes green housing initiatives to make your home a healthier place for your family. The National Research Council sets out technical requirements for the energy-efficient design and construction of new buildings. Natural Resources Canada promotes the reduction of our nation's energy footprint. This joint venture will provide prefabricated steel frame homes for Canadian Indigenous peoples. Using steel for the framing instead of wood is an option that is environmentally friendly, reducing waste associated with wood construction. Steel components are pre-cut and assembled in factories, reducing waste on job sites, resulting in a cleaner and safer environment for workers. The galvanized steel frame components have a service period of 90 years and contain a coating of zinc and aluminum for moisture and corrosion protection, ensuring durability. Steel lasts longer than wood as it does not absorb moisture, eliminating mold, mildew and pest problems associated with wood. Steel framing is lightweight, high strength, with good seismic performance and easy to transport. Steel frame construction allows for the installation of heavier and denser products that can improve acoustic and insulating properties, making the home warmer and more comfortable. Steel is safer than wood, as it is a non-combustible material that not only reduces the risk of fire, but helps in preventing the spread of fire. Steel has been proven to withstand severe bushfire temperatures of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius. Large components, such as walls, are assembled as large pieces in the factory and then quickly and easily built on site in less than 40 days, making them more affordable than conventional home construction. This short construction cycle is based on a 1,000 square foot prefabricated house, including all modern hardware and decorative finishings. We will support and encourage Métis suppliers to provide transportation, building supplies and other construction-related products and services required in the assembly and future manufacturing operations. This project will increase local economic development by providing education, trades training and employment opportunities to the local communities. According to the Board of the Canadian Construction Association, an estimated 300,000 new construction workers will be desperately needed in the next 10 years. INDECO can help fill this gap. At the present time, the prefabricated cost-effective houses will be purchased from our business partner, then packaged in two or three shipping containers. 
They will then be transported via container ship to Canada, where they will be assembled on site. In the near future, we would like to establish a prefabricated steel frame green house and construction materials manufacturing plant in Manitoba. Next in line is the purchase of the steel fabrication units. Owning the fabrication units will give us the capability to manufacture our own house frames and also supply steel frames direct to Canadian retail markets. The current need for housing increases the potential of large-scale house manufacturing and installation plants. As workers overcome the learning curve, the speed of the manufacturing and on-site installation processes will increase over time, bringing costs down. Producing these homes in large quantities at low cost per unit makes them more affordable to the end user. Indeco's top priorities are to provide affordable, stable housing while creating jobs and also to help Aboriginal people get the skills and training they need to secure meaningful employment and build better futures for themselves and their families.